your organization may consist of several companies, but might not have the equivalent number of accounting and administrative teams. The intercompany functionality lets you do business with your subsidiary and internal partner organizations in the same way that you would engage with external vendors and customers. You enter in intercompany transaction information only once in the appropriate documents, and then you could use the functionality you're already familiar with, such as receivables and payables. Let's take a look at how we would perform that task. So in this scenario, we're going to go ahead and create a purchase invoice in the headquartered in the main parent company. I'm going to approve that transaction in the subsidiary company. We'll post that journal in the subsidiary and then review the impact of the ledger. The scenario is your parent company, they receive an invoice uh, from a vendor or uh, for consulting services. And some of the costs, about $1,000, are incurred by the headquarter, the parent company, whereas some of the costs, about $750, will be deferred to the subsidiary company. So I'm logged into Dynamics 365 Business Central. And again, in the headquartered company, I'll create a new purchase invoice. Uh, this is the vendor we're going to work with, Fabricam. And then and notice the type in the line item is a GL account. And then from there, I can choose what general ledger. So we'll just choose, um, in this case here, rent expense. And I'll use it as, again, as possibly the consulting services. I'll enter a quantity of one, and we'll enter in uh, $2,000. So I'm paying for rent. And then on the new line item, this is where I'll select uh, rent again, and I'll enter a cost of $1,250. However, we're going to actually share that cost with one of our subsidiaries. I'll enter a GL account under the intercompany partner reference type and then the uh, partner code. I'll charge that or bill that back to the company number one. And then I'll go ahead and post and you'll see that we navigate and you can see the ledger entries based on what just occurred. So on the first line, right, we'll go ahead and credit 1250. That's the charge. Uh, direct rent fees to the um, company one. And then you'll notice here the increase in expenses, 3250 to the parent company. And then there's a uh, increase here in my accounts receivable for 1250. Now, the subsidiary company needs to approve the transaction. We don't want to just have anybody sending out uh, invoices and billing us. So if I'm logged into now the company one, you can see it here up at the top left corner, you'll notice that in my inbox, we have some pending transactions. So this is the intercompany transaction. I'll click on this and I wanna see what it is that I'm being charged so I can open up the details. I see it's for 1250 and what the general ledger is gonna be for a rent. Okay, that makes sense. And so I'll go ahead and accept those charges and then close that out. And I no longer have anything else to transact or to worry about. And now in the posting, so I'm still in company one. We'll go ahead and search on the intercompany general journal. And you see that uh, rent expense. We'll go ahead and post those charges. And then I could take a look at that impact it has on my ledger. So again, in the same home page, I can scroll down and you'll notice here if I now drill into that accounts payable, there's that 1250 that we've occurred and I can navigate and drill into the detail uh, the resulting ledger entries. So in this demonstration, we're just to show you how uh, you can manage intercompany transactions between uh, subsidiaries within your organization using Dynamics 365 Business Central.